Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have swatches for you from the Cast a Spell box, um, which is a collaboration based on Harry Potter between a bunch of different brands. Um, there is, I put all the polishes away, but um, there is Stella Chroma, there's Night Owl Lacquer, Lollipop Posse, there's Bee's Knees, Never Enough, and then Ribbit Stickets. So this is an annual box. This one goes on sale July 31st. In the description box below, I will leave the site where you can pick this up. I will also link all of the Instagrams and sites to all of the makers that contributed to this month's box. These polishes are only available through the box, but it is a good representation of the brand if you are interested in further exploring what they had to offer. So we do have a total of five polishes to look at today, and let's go ahead and get started. So first off, I just want to address how absolutely precious this box is. Um, <laughs> this uh, is Mama, definitely Mama. above and beyond Mama. for my expectations. I've never gotten a cast a spell box and I've never swatched one before. So this is definitely like a first impressions for me. My goodness, so even more fun detailing is when you open it up. <laughs> There's an outpost sticker that is freaking cute. Oh my goodness, look at how cute all of this stuff is. So the first thing I see is a sticker on top that says always that will be going on my drawers. And then a super precious um, broomstick pin from Night Owl. And then we are getting into the stickers from Ribbit's stickers. I think these are water decals. So I will definitely be adding those to my manicures today. We've got their business cards and then the polishes themselves. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is swatch through all the polishes. And then in my swatch photos, I will be adding one of the rivet stickers to each swatch. So first from Bees Knees Lacquer, we have Imperio, and this is described as an eerie field green with a sneaky blue to green shimmer that has a surprising hint of pink. Um, I am seeing primarily a gray with a blue shimmer. So here's our first coat of Imperio. So this goes on really smooth. It is very opaque here on this first coat. It's not entirely opaque, so I am gonna go in for a second coat, but the formula is very nice to work with. I didn't have any kind of running or pulling or staining. The shimmer that's in this does stand out really, really well. So here is our second coat, and that does cover completely in two coats. This one is gonna dry down pretty dull, so you will want a glossy top coat to finish this off. Nothing in here is going to dry textured or be difficult to remove because it is all shimmer that's in here. There is no other added elements. So there is two coats. And we also have water decals from Ribbit Stickets which are Harry Potter themed. These will be included in the box, but then you can purchase additional sheets for $5 a piece. So I'm pretty sure this was my first time using a water decal. It did take a couple attempts to kind of figure out what I was doing, how I should cut things, how wet they should be, all that good stuff. Um, but they did work really, really nicely and just a quick little application. I did apply top coat afterwards as well. So next from Lollipop Posse Lacquer, we have Ridiculous, and this is described as an ultramarine blue crelly filled with a pink shifting shimmer, multiple colorways of shifting iridescent flakies, mauve to green shifting ultra chameleon chrome flakies, and silver holographic micro flakies. So here's our first coat of Ridiculous. So this one is pretty sheer here on this first coat. It is in a jelly base, so that's to be expected. There's a lot of delicate elements in here, including the shimmer and the hollow and the flickies. So in order for them to appear at their absolute best, the base does have to be more on the sheer side, but the formula is smooth and easy to work with, no application issues whatsoever. It's building up nicely in two coats where if you aren't super picky, you could maybe get away with two coats, but I am gonna show you what a third coat looks like today. 
So here's our third coat and that does cover completely in three coats. You will want a glossy and or matte top coat to finish this off to smooth everything out because it does dry with a slight texture so it also is a tinsy bit difficult to remove. So there is three coats. So up next from Night Owl Lacquer we have Winga Dream Leviosa and this is described as a violet tinted base loaded with aqua to green to purple shifting shimmer, aqua to green to purple sparks, and a copper to red to gold to green crystal chameleon flaky. Here's our first coat of Winga Dream Leviosa. This one covers pretty well here on this first coat. It's obviously not entirely opaque, so I am going to go in for a second coat, but per the usual with Night Owl Lacquer, this is a very beginner-friendly formula. No running or pulling on this one. Very smooth and easy to apply. Those flakes also lie nice and evenly where you don't have to manipulate them to get them to go where you want them to go. So this does build up to two coats opacity for me. I mean, there's the faintest hint of nail line but it's so reflective that I don't think anyone would be able to see it but I am going to show you what three coats looks like because I went in really thin on my pointer finger and I'm not somebody who can do three coats on one nail and not the rest so it is opaque in three coats it's going to dry slightly dull so you will want a glossy top coat to finish this off but nothing is going to dry textured or be difficult to remove so there is three coats Up next from Never Enough Polish we have Bombarda Maxima and this is described as a hypnotizing pale blue beauty full of pink to blue to gold to green to violet shifting shimmer, holographic flakes and galaxy glitters as well as a linear hollow. Here's our first coat of Bombarda Maxima. So this covers pretty well here on this first coat, not entirely opaque so I am going to go in for a second coat. Formula is easy to work with. It's a little bit on the thinner side, but it's not hard. You just have to be sure to work in thinner coats. Here's our second coat, and that does cover completely in two coats for me. This one's also going to dry down dull and with the itsiest bitsiest bit of texture, so you will want a glossy top coat to finish this off, and it will also help the hollow stand out. Nothing in here is going to be difficult to remove, though. It's just a little bit messy. So there is two coats. And lastly from today from Stella Chroma, we have Pier Totem Locomoto, and this is described as a slate blue-gray packed with blue and bronze shimmer, highlighted by subtle, hollow, and shifting ultrachrome chameleon flakies. And here's our first coat of Pier Totem Locomotor, and I am so sorry that I'm out of focus on this first coat. It does get better with the second coat. I don't have autofocus on my camera, so um, my bad. Formula on this one is very smooth and easy to work with. I feel like this brush holds a lot of polish, so it is easy to get a little bit on your brush and cover your entire nail. So here's our second coat, and that does cover completely in two coats. This one is also going to dry down dull and slightly textured, so you will want a glossy top coat to finish this one off as well, or a matte top coat to help those flakes stand out. Nothing in here is going to be difficult to, to remove though. So there is two coats. So my favorite is Pure Totem Locomotor, which um, is just, it's so beautiful and it makes me think of McGonagall every time. I wanted, I've always wanted to use that spell, like it's, it's so good, uh, <laughs> but the formula on this is good. It's a really pretty fall shade. Um, I, they were all really good, but this one definitely stood out to me as being different from everything else in this month's box. So Pure Totem Locomotor is my favorite. And guys, that is it. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of these polishes. Let me know if you plan on picking this month's box up or this year's box up. And let me know what your favorite from it was. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me. And I will talk to you again next time.